Hi there and welcome to the getting started video for Pilot Edge. Uh, what we're going to show you today is how to get started on the network uh, for your very first time. To begin, just navigate to the pilotedge.net website. Click on the Pilot Center option at the top of the screen and then click on Getting Started. From here you're going to get a couple of helpful hints uh, that might help you transition from another network and give you a few notes about how uh, the service is run. And what you want to do is click on the uh, link near the top that says a Pilot Edge membership to a trial. So you click on that, enter your contact information into this form, and you'll get an email very shortly with your temporary password and your login, which is your email address. Once you've got that, click on the sign in button on the top right hand corner of your screen, and then click sign in. Now that you're signed into the website, you can download the software. Again, we'll navigate to the Pilot Center option and then click on Download Software. From here, you have the option to download software for any of the three supported platforms. So you click on the link, it'll start a download uh, for an EXE file for those of you using Prepared and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2004 or FSX. And for X-Plane users, you're going to get a zip file with the Pilot Edge plugin in it. Regardless of whatever platform you're using, uh, open up the instructions in a separate tab, and we'll get started. For Microsoft Flight Simulator 2004, FSX, or Lockheed Martin Prepared users, click on the download link that's appropriate for your software. You can then download the pe-setup.exe file, which will allow you to install Pilot Edge on your machine. Once you've downloaded the pe-setup.exe file, Locate it on your hard drive and double click on the icon. At the splash screen, click Next. Then read and accept the end user license agreement. Click Next. This next option will allow you to set up Pilot Edge and Flight Simulator on the same machine. For more advanced users who are running the Pilot Edge client and a Flight Simulator on separate machines, there are options available below as well. Click Next. Then we need to identify which directory we'd like to install Pilot Edge. In this instance, I'm just installing it in the default directory. Then you can choose which version of Flight Simulator you'd like to install the Pilot Edge application for. In this instance, because I have Microsoft Flight Simulator 10 and Lockheed Martin's prepared on my machine, I'm choosing to install for both. Once we click Next, the installation process will take care of itself. And we successfully installed the application. Next, we'll fire up our flight simulator, set up our options the way we'd like them, and get flying on Pilot Edge. As you can see, we started our simulator, and the first thing I did is make sure that my aircraft wasn't positioned on a runway or a taxiway. In this case, we're on the ramp at Oceano, and we want to take a look at just two options before we actually get started on the network. I'm going to go into the Options tab, move down to Settings, and then click on General. The first thing we want to do is make sure that this box here is not checked. And this pause on task switch, we want to leave that unchecked. Then we're going to go down into realism. And we're going to ignore crashes and damage. You can also, if you're more of a realist, you can click on detect crashes and damage. But just ensure that you have allow collisions with other aircraft unchecked. I'm happy with that, and we can hit OK. Next, it's time to start the Pilot Edge application, which I have here. I'm going to click on the Start box. We're going to move down into Options. There are a number of options here. Uh, the big one that we're looking at right now is under the Voice tab. And under the Input section, this is going to allow us to identify a Push to Talk key. In my case, I have it set as Left Control. Simply click on the Set box. Press the button you'd like associated with your Push to Talk and you're all set up. Once that's done, click Apply or OK, and it's time to connect to the network. Once you hit the Connect tab, you'll be prompted to enter your email address and password, and then you can also enter your call sign that you're going to be flying with. You can either select it from a list of call signs that you've previously used, or you can also add new ones. And under Aircraft, as I haven't flown the Baron yet in Flight SimX, it's time for me to add that aircraft. You can see I've flown the Otter, the 737, the Q400, the Cessna 172. All of these aircraft that you've flown will stay uh, essentially in memory there. What I'm going to do is click on Add. And 
there, and B-58. This is just a name to remind you, um, to cue you up as to what aircraft it is, but we're going to actually identify the Baron from a list here. I'm going to go to Beach. Beach 58 Baron. We'll click on that, and then press OK. And press OK again. And now anytime I want to fly the Baron on Pilot Edge, uh, I'm going to have that aircraft already set up and I can just select it from a list. With that done, we can hit Connect. And we'll be logged into the network. So just uh, to ensure that we have all our settings set up the way we would like them to be, what I'm going to do is just do a quick radio check with San Louis Tower, which is just uh, a couple of miles north of where we are now. San Louis Tower, Baron 734, Tango Delta, radio check. Baron 734, Tango Delta, San Louis Tower, read loud and clear. For Tango Delta, loud and clear, thanks. And with that done, we're ready to fly on the network.